Hi everyone, today we're going to go through the balancing process of the Julian Crane 2S. So let's first make sure that whichever camera package you're using, that all the stuff you're gonna need for a shoot is already on there. So in this case, for example, I take off the lens cap, make sure if I have filters, I put them on now, and then the car is already inside, and also the battery. So here you can see this level is already at the end, but the quick release plate still moves a little bit. This is not a flaw, it's just you have the possibility to adjust the strength here. So you have two scenarios. Either your camera package is installed on it and can't be locked in place, it is still loose and not safe. Or your camera package is too difficult to put on or off because it is too tight. You can easily spot this by observing the brakes. Here we can see that the brakes are not fully engaged. That's why the camera package is still very loose on there. And here we can see that the brakes are fully engaged and it is tight and perfect. First, we have to quickly take a look onto this area. We have the reposition knob, the lever lock, the safety lock, and the brake. The safety lock in our case is irrelevant here. We mostly use the reposition lock, the lever lock, and the brakes to make sure to tighten or loosen. To make it tighter, follow these steps. Now your camera package is tight and safe on it. To make it slightly loose and easier, follow these steps. Now it should be easier to put on your camera package. This step is usually irrelevant. The gimbal package should be already ready to go. But these steps are good to know if you do experience that the reposition lock has moved a little bit and it's not tight anymore. You only have to do this once. You don't have to do it every single time. Just make sure it's tight and ready. For a better balancing experience, especially if you have a camera package that has a lens adapter in between from Metabolts, for example, then it's always good to have this lens support. With this lens support, you can make sure that the entire camera package is solid together and won't wobble around in the middle of it. So let's make the gimbal ready in place. We will see that there are two things to know. For each axis, there are axis locks, adjustment screws. With these opened, you can then slide them back and forth into a position that you feel that the axis is balanced. And then of course you can lock it. So these are for balancing and these are mostly used for transportation or assist while balancing. And now let's just make sure this is the pan axis. We put it like this and then we take the roll axis, unlock the axis lock and lock it here. Then we take the tilt axis and lock here to put it into this position. Now let's take the camera package and slide it in and lock it in place. Make sure that this lock is definitely tight. Now if you have any like camera control cables that you're about to use or focus units, just make sure that this is also already installed on there. Inside this box you will see a bunch of different type of cables. One is for the charger, the other ones are for camera control. USB type A to USB type C. This is for updating your gimbal through a computer. But USB type C to USB type C. Most Panasonic cameras use this cable. USB type C to Sony multiport. Most Sony cameras use this cable. USB type C to mini USB. Most Canon cameras use this cable. So in this case, we have a camera control cable, which we will plug in here. 
sometimes I want to go wide, sometimes I do want to grab a little bit more of a close up. So if you're using, and I'm sure a lot of people are using zoom lenses on their gimbal setup, then it's always good to somewhat put it onto a focal length that is in the middle of it because the gimbal itself can handle it. But to get the best experience out of it, don't start balance on, for example, on one of the extreme ends. So if this is a Sigma 18 to 35, don't start balancing it on 35 or 18, but rather somewhere in the middle, like 25. And with that technique, you can make sure that the shift to both each sides won't be too much. So this is the best way to balance a zoom lens camera onto a gimbal. Let's start balancing with the tilt axis. This is the arm that moves the camera up and down. We unlock the tilt axis lock here. So unlocking this adjustment lock under the plate. If your setup leans forward, move it back. If your setup leans backwards, move it forward. And move your camera setup to a position where it is almost balanced. Once balanced, lock it here. Next, point the camera up so the lens faces the ceiling. To do that, simply loosen the screw on the tilt axis and adjust. If it leans back, lift the tilt arm up. If it leans forward, bring the tilt arm down until the camera is almost balanced. Once balanced, lock it here. Now we go for the roll axis, which rolls the camera to the left or to the right. Unlock the roll axis lock here. To do that, simply loosen this adjustment screw on the roll axis and move your setup to where it is almost balanced. Just like before, observe where your camera leans and move it to the opposite direction. If your setup leans to the right, adjust the roll axis arm to the left. If your camera setup leans left, adjust the roll axis arm to the right. Once balanced, tighten the screw. You may need to check the tilt and rebalance if necessary. And finally, let's balance the pan axis, which pans the camera to the left or to the right. To do that, simply loosen this screw on the pan axis arm. If the gimbal swings counterclockwise, you'll need to move the pan arm forward. If the gimbal swings clockwise, you'll need to move the pan arm back. You may need to repeat this process until your camera setup remains in its position. But this was the traditional way of adjusting the pan axis. There is an even better exact way to adjust it and will remove all these kind of jitters or not perfectly balanced issues. Basically, we take the entire setup, we lock the tilt axis and the roll axis, and we unlock the pan axis. Then we lean it against our stomach and try to have it like this. See where the camera is going. If it leans to the right, then we move the pan axis to the left. If it leans to the left, we move the pan axis to the right. Once all axes are balanced, you can turn on the gimbal. As we can see here, the balancing was a success. The gimbal is now ready to do its magic. And let's quickly take a look how we balance this camera package if we want to shoot vertical videos. We basically proceed with the same steps as before.
As we can see here, also changed into the vertical mode shooting, the balancing was a success. So if you have any questions or problems, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer all of them. Definitely subscribe to this channel to see more awesome content, especially on gimbals, to keep being updated and get the best experience out of your Crane 2S. Up to the next one. 再见!